It's time to take a peek at the next version of Android. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. Android users, get ready for split screen on your smartphone. Google revealed the next flavor of Android software, right now codenamed Android N. Only software developers get the chance to tinker with it now since it's unfinished. But the big new features include split screen for working on two apps at once on a phone or tablet. Also, there is picture in picture mode, so you can view a video in a small box in the corner of a screen, and that lets you do things like check email while still watching your show. Some Apple devices in San Samsung phones have had these features already, but you know, playing catch up is all part of the game between these companies. The notification bar is also getting tweaked. If you get a message alert, you can type your reply right inside the alert. And Apple's iOS also has a similar feature. Perhaps battery life will get a boost with improvements to the Doze Power Saver. Now, normally, Google likes to unveil the next version of its operating systems at the I.O. Developers Conference, but Google's trying something different this time, releasing it before the conference, which isn't until May. Now, it's not easy for Google to get its new software on every Android device when you have so many makers of phones. Google's Nexus devices do get them first, but only 2% of Android users right now are running the latest Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Most, about 35%, are still on 4.4 KitKat, which is more than two years old. These systems always get named after a sweet treat, so we'll have to wait and see what N will stand for. Maybe something with nougat or good old stuck in your teeth nut brittle. While Android improves, so does Google's artificial intelligence computer, AlphaGo. Created by Google's DeepMind team, AlphaGo is doing something no other computer can do, and that's beat humans at the most complicated board game, the ancient Chinese game of Go. The game may look simple with black and white stones, but it is complicated for a computer because there are more possible moves than there are atoms in the universe, 10 to the power of 170. And instead of processing each possible outcome, because that would take forever, a computer just sort of needs to play smart. AlphaGo defeated the world champion, Lee Sedol, the top Go player in the past decade, in the first of five matches. The battles are taking place now in Seoul, South Korea, and they're being live streamed on YouTube. It goes on through Monday. No pressure, Sedol. It's just the future of humanity that rests in your hands. That's it for this tech news update. You can head to CNET.com for more. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.